everybody, I'm Tyler. And hey, I'm Brian. And today we wanted to take a few minutes and talk a little bit about best practices for fiber inspection and cleaning and just the methods and procedures that people use. Now, you know, several years ago, standards bodies like the IEC adopted the 61335 standard, and there's been others that have followed suit. Um, but not everybody has access to the standard or can interpret and read through this and understand what it is. And, mm -hmm. you know, several years ago, both of us, our companies have been really big advocates of that inspect before you connect right. mentality, which tries to walk things through a really intuitive workflow that anybody can understand and do. Uh, and it starts pretty simple. You, you inspect it. You use a, a microscope to look at the end phase. Mm -hmm. And if it's clean, wonderful. Move forward. You can connect that and off you go. But... You've checked that, and if it's dirty, you got to do something. Right. right, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Tyler, the whole inspect, clean inspect, it doesn't matter what the industry is. Anywhere you have an optical interconnect, that's what you want to do. I mean, if you think about it, the number one problem that most people have with fiber optic connectors is contamination, yeah. right? So, and when you go through and you start to uh, put the connectors together, you want to make sure you inspect it, right? Yeah. I mean, how long does it take now to inspect a connector with it's, some of the modern gear? Yeah, it's so easy. We're talking just a matter of two seconds, you know. Right. Just do it, and you're done. Right. And, and what's, what's kind of the biggest reason you see out there that you hear about why people don't always inspect and clean your connectors? Too many tools to carry. It takes too long, mm -hmm. right? And so they think, oh, I, I, or I don't need to do that. I, I've, in the past, I, I've, I've gotten away with doing this for years, and it's, I've never had a problem. Yeah. Yeah, But, you know, now we're in a space, I look at like the enterprise and data center space, for example, they're in a spot where they've moved beyond a gig, now they're getting into 10 gig, 40 gig. Well, guess what? Contamination's a problem. That's right. Now. Yeah. So getting people to understand that they need to do this, you know, start with that basic, you know, check it. If it's clean, great, you can connect it, move forward. But if it's dirty, that's when... In, Going back to your neck, you have to clean it, right? Right. And cleaning, too. Cleaning takes no time at all now, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the number one reason we hear about why people don't always want to inspect, clean, inspect, they're worried about it for the time. But actually, if you think about it, the time that you're going to have to go back, if you have an issue that's contamination-related, um, it's going to be a lot more time-consuming and an additional expense. So if you just go through and take, what, a few seconds to inspect it, right? And if it's clean, leave it alone, right? Yeah, yeah. And if it needs to be cleaned then go through and there's a number of options out there now for cleaning your fiber optic connectors that are highly effective and then once you have it clean then you go ahead and inspect it again because you don't want to just do blindly you just make sure that the cleaning effort that you just did was actually effective yeah if if it's not you do it again give it another try oftentimes the reason why it doesn't come off probably because they had previously inspected that mm -hmm. or pre previously connected that and it was it was dirty, so it yeah. can be a little bit more abrasive. And in, in future conversations and videos, we can talk about some of those uh, how how to be more aggressive in dealing with that. But if it's if it's clean at that point, then you inspect it again, make sure it's clean. Now you know it's clean. Mm -hmm. Now you can connect. Yeah, absolutely. So folks, it doesn't matter whether you're doing data centers or if you got a fiber to the antenna, you're doing something on the airplane. Yeah. It's always what best to always inspect clean and reinspect right exactly and there then you, you can connect yeah i mean you've seen it all every I, you've traveled the globe in every application you've talked to military guys and new equipment manufacturers i mean this this is a principle that applies to everybody exactly you'll never go wrong taking a few seconds to inspect clean it if it needs to be clean and then reinspect well, there you go. Uh, please join us for our, our other series where we talk about uh, some of the more detailed examples. Uh, but for now, thanks again. I'm Tyler. And I'm Brian. Take care. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.